Kim Novak is an American actress who's known for playing the role of Madeline Elster and Judy Barton in Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. In this video, we'll take a look at her life and her film career. Modeling for a Refrigerator Company Novak was born Marilyn Pauline Novak in Chicago to Joseph and Blanche Novak. Her father worked as a freight dispatcher during the Great Depression and her mother was a factory worker. As a child, Novak hated going to school and she didn't like her teachers. When she graduated, she started modeling for a local store. She received two scholarships to the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, and she soon started working as a model for a refrigerator company. During the last semester of junior college, the company took her on a cross-country tour. She modeled at different trade shows for the company, and when she was in Los Angeles, the company gave her the title Miss Deep Freeze, changing her name. While she was in Los Angeles, she performed as an extra in the films The French Lion and Son of Sinbad. During the shooting of the films, she was discovered by an agent who was impressed with her performance and decided to sign her to Columbia Pictures. She had a row with Harry Cohn, the chief of Columbia, because he was trying to get her to change her name to Kit Marlowe. Novak had a desire to be original and she wanted to stand out from the crowd, which is why she was reluctant to change her name. Cohn was worried no one would be interested in seeing a woman who had a Polish name. They eventually agreed upon Kim Novak. Beginning of her film career After the success of Rita Hayworth during the 40s, Columbia Pictures wanted Novak to be the first big star. They were confident that she would become successful like Marilyn Monroe. Her first film was the 1954 crime film Pushover, in which she starred alongside Fred McMurray. Her next film was a comedy film released in 1954. Novak starred as Janice in the film. Both films were successful and Novak was praised for her acting skills and her looks. She then starred in the 1955 heist film Five Against the House. The film wasn't as successful as her first two films, but she received equal billing with actor Guy Madison. Picnic and the Man with the Golden Arm It was her fourth film that signaled to everyone that Novak was the next big star. She starred as Madge Owens in the 1955 romantic comedy drama film Picnic, a film adaptation of the 1953 Pulitzer Prize winning Broadway play. The film also starred William Holden and Rosalind Russell. Picnic was a box office hit. It earned six nominations for Academy Awards and won two of them. Novak won the Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer and a nomination for BAFTA Film Award for Best Foreign Actress. She starred alongside Frank Sinatra and Eleanor Parker in Otto Preminger's The Man with the Golden Arm. The film was a critical and financial success, and Novak was again praised for both her performance and her beauty. Vertigo Novak was at the peak of her film career in the late 1950s. She starred in a couple of successful movies from 1956 to 1958. In 1957, she starred as Linda English alongside Rita Hayworth and Frank Sinatra, in Pal Joey. Her performance in the film is considered one of the best performances of her career. She starred in Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo in 1958. Vera Miles, the actress who was initially supposed to play the role of Judy Barton in Vertigo, had to drop out after she became pregnant. Hitchcock asked Harry Cohn to let Novak star in his film. Cohn wasn't impressed by the script, but he admired Hitchcock as a director, so he let Novak read the script. Novak said she fell in love with it because she found it really easy to relate to her character. Novak was originally receiving only $1,250 per week, but after protesting and getting her agent to demand a higher salary, Cohn decided to give her a new contract, which paid her $3,000 per week. Difficulties on the set She had some difficulties adjusting to Hitchcock's style of direction in the beginning. She wanted to change her character's costume, but Hitchcock insisted that the visual element of the film was more important than the story. Novak eventually decided that the costume was the symbol of the character. Novak said her experience of working with Hitchcock was strange. He never told her what he thought of her performances during shooting and she always felt like he wasn't happy with her being in the film. She later found out that she was right. Hitchcock wanted Vera Miles to perform in his film. Novak was too demanding and he felt she ruined his film. Novak often said she sometimes felt uneasy playing the role of Madeline. She would often comfort herself by saying Hitchcock wanted Madeline to feel uncomfortable. As Madeline, it didn't feel right, and that's what was right about it for Novak. When the film came out, it received mixed reviews. 
but today it is considered Hitchcock's best film and it's also thought to be Novak's most popular role. Variety wrote, Novak was interesting under Hitchcock's direction and she was nearer an actress than she was in either Pal Joey or Gene Eagles. Film director Martin Scorsese said Novak's performance was extraordinary. Novak, however, didn't seem to like her performance. When she watched the film in 2013, she said, I was really disappointed. Both characters were exaggerated. They'll always remember me in Vertigo, and I'm not that good in it. But I don't blame me because there are a couple of scenes where I was wonderful. Retirement In one interview, Novak said that she always thought her talent was as an artist and not as an actress. She didn't like working in Hollywood because she was almost always surrounded by controlling men and she hated being controlled. I was pulled away from my true calling. When I left Hollywood, I went back to being an artist, said Novak in a 2018 interview. By the late 60s, she had become disillusioned with Hollywood and she wanted to get away from the life of a movie star. She began painting and writing poetry and song lyrics. Some of her songs were recorded by Harry Belafonte and the Kingston Trio. In the late 70s, she had minor roles in the films The White Buffalo and Just a Gigolo, the later also starring David Bowie. She turned down a lot of movie roles in the 80s and 90s. Her last film was Mike Figgis Liebestron in 1991. Figgis and Novak didn't get along well on the set and they were constantly arguing with each other. She said, he wanted what he thought Hitchcock had made over. He treated me the way he thought Hitchcock must have, tried to manipulate me into doing exactly I went crazy. Her experience of working on Liebestrom was so disappointing she decided to quit acting for good. In 2015, she received the Christian Award for her contribution to cinema and her paintings were displayed at the Strayhoff Monastery. She continues to write poetry, make paintings, and take photographs. Her work was displayed at the Butler Institute of American Art in Youngstown, Ohio in 2019. So what's your favorite Kim Novak movie? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, and don't forget, Press the subscribe button.